Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI welcoming you right back to Let's Play Oracle of Ages and this is episode 15. Now if I sound a little bit jittery or go a bit wrong now and again today then it's only because I just had the phone call for a job interview so I am extremely nervous and excited at the same time. I mean, it's not much, it's like a retail job but there's better than I go now so that's good. <laughs> anyway, enough about that because I don't, wanna, I don't want this to turn into like a, uh, a vloggy Let's Play sort of thing. I... shit. I would rather it just be a normal Let's Play episode, but with me a bit more hyper, maybe. <laughs> Wrong way. Uh, there we go. Hello, Goron. I have freed you. With a new tunnel complete, we got some dwellings. Some Gorons have even opened up new shops. You should check it out. This is going to be very mini gamey, and I'm not sure if we're going to make it to Dungeon 6 in um, this episode, but we'll give it a go. Um, come on. Oh, <laughs> go on the cave, you little shit. Okay. Across here. I hope it is. Get off you. <laughs> now if you want that heart piece, you would have to come back with a different item that we haven't got yet, by the looks of things, so never mind that. Let's, go, let's check what he's got to say. At least he's got to the base of Rolling Ridge. Good. Rolling Ridge is exactly where we want to go. It's strange how we got two dungeons in the exact same area, but at the same time it's, it's pretty good. I mean... You can go back to the town and walk back whenever you want, so it's not exactly... Gorns have always loved games, and they always will. You've got to save time to have fun. Oh yeah, I agree with that. In places east of here, the Gorn dance is all the rage. If you can't dance well, you won't make friends. Now think of Oculus Seasons and you'll know what that dancing is all talk about, talking about, so... Let's keep going... Get... <laughs> Just keep following the path until you make it back to where we need to be. Which is the Rolling Ridge area. It's pretty strange that we have to come out and go all around and everything, but it makes sense. Should we have a look across in Europe? Because I never checked during the practice run, so let's have a little look. Don't ask why, I don't even know myself. Don't let him steal our money. I thank you for paying to fix my door. Oh, you little shit. Seriously. Don't do it again. Break your bloody jars now. That's what you get. <laughs> anyway. Ah, get off. Get me. That's fine, we still need to guess 600 by the time we get to the end of the dungeon, but for now, I guess it's okay. I think it's this one. Yes, it is. Now, dance all around Ridge, we want to go dancing. But first of all, let's talk to him. He's going to give us a hint about what to do whenever we get stuck in this area, because we're going to be here for a while. I can see a destiny. Go on, spirit, show me all. Amazing, I see you dancing feverishly. Hi, Link, the go on dance is all the rage in these mountains, but the Sabosian dance is way cooler. I agree, but I do like this one. I'm going to have to be quiet to concentrate on this. You have to get, I think it's 6 out of 8 dances right, so I'm going to have to be quiet, and I'm going to have to turn the music up, so I'll be turning the mic off completely. I'll see you in a moment. There we have it folks, that is done. The hard part is actually remembering when the pauses are and the rhythms. It's not so much pressing B and A, 
because there's only two options there, but it's the pauses we have to remember, and that's what I find hard. Right, we've got the Brotherhood emblem. We can use that to show to somebody. Let's talk to this guy again and see what he says. I can see your destiny. Go on, Spirit, show me all. Amazing. I see you riding in a strange vehicle and shooting things all around you. Okay, I remember sort of where to go by here. We want to show the emblem to this guy by here so we can go up the stairs. Huh? That's a Brotherhood emblem. You understand the passion of a Gorn's heart. You may pass. I know it's abrupt, but can you help me, brother? For generations, my ancestors have sat here guarding the peace on Rolling Ridge. I can't leave, but I'm so hungry I could starve. Can you give me some food? Okay, we need to find some food for him. We're not actually going to be going up yet. I just wanted to give you that little bit of information. We're going to go to the past. How do we get to the past? I can remember we need to. There must be, like, an image around here. An image. Uh, yeah, there it is. Let's change over to the Tune of Echoes a second. And here we go. If you don't find this little teleport time portal, then you're going to be having a hard time <laughs> with this area. So it's very important. Okay. I'm not going to say that this is the most efficient way to do this whole area. There's probably a quicker way where you don't have to backtrack quite as much. But it is good either way. Now we want, what we want to do is go up upstairs past this Goron. We need to give him the Brotherhood Emblem once again, because we're in the past now. We haven't shown him it before. I know it's abrupt, but can you help me, brother? Protecting Roland Ridge has given me a life meaning. I needed a heirloom that will teach my descendants to value life. It would be great if you could bring me something unique. Okay, so the one in the present needs something from food, and the one in the past needs something unique. So that's fine. Let's check on... This and this. And get going. It's like... Ooh, I nearly fell. <laughs> right, just keep going. I'm not sure if we can reach her. Do you think we can? She can swap with grass. Oh, we made it. Oh, 100 rupees. That's like what we lost to that old man. I'm friends with a famous graceful Goron. Remember him as well. He drinks lava juice. Remember to bring lava juice to this guy when we get it. Oh, it feels like a load of side quests, this little area, but it's not too bad. I quite like it, anyway. Right, we need to push this seed now to where it can be used, you know. That didn't destroy it, that's good. I wasn't quite sure if it would, uh, would destroy it or not, you know. So let's just chuck it by there and go to the present. I just hope we don't end up in the middle of a tree or anything now. <laughs> so you never know. Oh, we got another mini mini game coming up. That's a bugger. I do like mini games in my Zelda games, but when they're a little bit tricky like this, I find them a little bit hard to deal with. Here we go, target cards. Just like the Goron was saying, so us going around in a weird machine. If I do too badly for too long, then yes, I will cut it out and just leave the um, let's play with the winning, you know, the winning run through. You can't miss three shots, and it pay. It costs ten rupees per time. Good. Price this time is this. We need that. That's an important item. Okay, and after being interrupted once again, I am back. So let's get going. Just shoot them all. It's not too hard, but if you miss one, then it's going to keep rebounding the seed, and you won't be able to shoot again until it's completely sorted, and that's. That's the hard thing about it, if there is something hard. Diagonal one by here is hard. You can't miss any of them, actually. But if you only miss three or less, then you can have a free go again. That's it, we got all 12 out of 12. That's lucky. When I was doing my practice when it took me ages. Literally about half hour. <laughs> we got rock brisket. That's good. Now, where do we need to use that? Is that food? Seems like food. But we're not quite done yet. No, we don't want to try again. We're, we're done with you. Anyways, uh, what do we need? We need this, and this. So we're going to pick up this rock and get what we need out of it, because now we're going to get another key item for another Goron. <laughs> Pretty strange to do it consecutively like that, but that's what we need to do. Right, we've seen this in the village, but now we have to do it for real. And last time in the practice run, I got 440 points and won the lava juice that we need. Well, uh, hmm. 
No, let's just go. The rules don't tell you how many points you need. I'm not sure how many it is exactly, but I'm hoping it'll be okay. Let's have a go. Come on up. Shit. Oh well. Got a blue one at least. I was hoping to get a fairy, because they're, they're worth the most. The pink ones, they give it a 10 points, so it's still okay if you get a blue and a pink. You still get like a... Something good out of it. Zero points, that's fine. Better than hitting a purple at least. Get in the middle. There we go, 60 points. Come on, 110 points, let's get it going. Oh shit, another one of these. Oh no! Oh, I was way off. I'm really bad at this, by the way, but... Yay, got two, even if there wasn't the two I was planning. Shit, missed all together. This is not going well. I'm hoping it's not as high as I'm thinking. Oh god! That was just shit. Minus 50 for missing all together. Jesus Christ. 60 points, 180. Oh yes, through the middle and we should do well. How many is that worth? 130. That's 310. Hopefully that'll be enough. You win lava juice. Oh good! It must be like 300 points to win. Oh, thank god for that. Oh, I didn't want to do it again. Okay. Cut, cut, cut. Oh, 640 points. I was actually going to cut that out. That's why I didn't talk through it, but... A boomerang! Wow. <laughs> I never knew about that. I didn't think I could get a boomerang in this game. Wow. I'm happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> what do we need to do next? We want to go back to the dance hall, do we? Okay. Okay. We can, we can do that. <laughs> so we want to go back down. Don't scratch. Yes. I thought I was going to crush it then. I mean, I don't think we'd ever need to go back up there, but just in case I didn't want to crush it, you know? Would have had to push it all the way back, back around and everything. Which ain't that bad. I'm just... <laughs> I'm making it out to be worse than it actually is. Wait there a sec. I want to check something. You. Don't tell anyone, but I'm friends with Famous. What did he want? Was it lava juice? Mermaid chip thing? Oh, I forget. I'm sure he wanted lava juice. But apparently not. Okay, never mind. We do actually need to talk to him sometime, though. That's a point. That is a point. I think... I think when we were coming through before... Never mind. I... Sorry, guys. <laughs> Anyways, let's just go. Uh, this. Let's talk to these guys first. The Gone Elder. I'm going to plant bomb flowers all over here. Elder Shrew is inside, like I can't keep up. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Anyways. <clears throat> we need to come here, but we need to go into the present. We do. Actually, I don't see why we can't just give it him now. Let's just do it. He wanted the unique thing, so we'll give him... A vase. Oh, okay. We're not giving him a vase. We need to go into the present. So, you know what to do. We've done it enough times. Hey, my lip. <laughs> I just bit it. Okay. You? You wanted food. We got the, um, what's it called? Rock brisket, that's the one. Let me have it. You'll trade the vase for it? Yeah, okay. Now, who wanted a va- Who wanted a vase? <laughs> Bloody hell. Now we need to go back to the past. 
and give the vase to the golem by the stage in the exact same place of where is it where is now. So yeah. So you again. We're actually not too far from dungeon six now, so I'm gonna keep the video going. A vase, what a fine golem vase. Yep, yeah, you can have it. Thank you. What do we get? Go on aid. One quick gulp will keep you awake. Okay. So now, once again, we can go into the present. You might think this is strange, but you do need to do it, so... It's not actually a golem we've seen yet, so you don't really know where we're going now. But I'll show you. So I'll show you just where it is. <laughs> oh. I heard. <laughs> go up here. Uh, we might as well get these two on. Here. And wait, 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 wait. Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> Gorons have always taken care of their brothers, and they always will. They will, you know, I'll clean enough time too. We Gorons have many mystical items, if you get any, take care of them. Yeah, okay. I just want to check something for a moment. We didn't go across here, so we might as well have a look. Some bombs. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway. Where do you think we need to go now? I think in you. You? Do you need anything? We've got so many late nights. Let's go on aid. Yeah, let's give it to him. First game's on the house, want to try? Yes. This is hard as hell. All you need to do is avoid the bombs. Seriously, that is it. Just have the rocks feather on and you'll be good to go. You might want to put the gale seed... Yay, finally! <laughs> and I did end up cutting a couple of tries out, so that's good. Got that done. Take a prize. We got Old Mermaid Key, so that's one of them. We need one more Mermaid Key and uh, we can get going. Because we need two keys to get into this next dungeon, sort of. Uh, I think we need to get back to the dance hall now, but we'll have a look what's up here. We might as well get this. Why not, don't I? I hope it's not too far to go back now, actually. It's not good. Not far at all. Good. I mean, I don't even use the Gasher Seed, so I don't know why I jumped down then. I mean, in all fairness, I didn't know it was going to be a Gasher Seed. I didn't realise, but... Yeah. So yeah, we need to go back to the past, and then go in the dance hall. So just keep following the path back. If you wanted to, you could have just walked down the stairs and backtracked to the, this area again, but whatever. This is still here from where we teleported to the present time, so we might as well use it. Let's go. We need to now give the lava juice to someone, so just get the Pegasus seeds back on again. I hope this episode doesn't end up too long, actually. I don't, I don't think it should be too bad, but... You never know. Hey, that key looks like the mermaid key, the graceful Goron has. So if you don't have this old key, you're not going to be able to get the new key. Aren't you greedy? Look, I don't know if it will work, but if you give me your lava juice, I'll introduce you to the graceful Goron. So, can I have the lava juice? Yeah. Okay, take this letter of introduction to the graceful Goron. So now we need to go back to the, uh, graceful Goron. <laughs> the racing, the dancing, racing, the dancing Goron. Once again. But this time we're going to be doing the minigame in the present, and it's a, a bit harder. It really is. So, I'm going to mute it again. I'll see you in a moment.
Oh well, first time, that never happens for me, once again. <laughs> like I said, it's a little bit harder. Mermaid keys, we've got the old mermaid key and the mermaid key. So now, what we need to do... ...is head out. Oh god. And, this is where the dungeon is. So, we use one of the keys by here. Yeah, I might as well go in. <laughs> Use the mermaid key. And head on in. Mermaid's cave. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay, this has been Greeny XI. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you again next time when we make a start on this dungeon. I can't see us being able to do the whole thing in one episode, but you never know. So, thanks for watching. <laughs>